Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where I just realized... Oh, so is it just me? Yeah, okay, I was like, I have squad points, um... Uh, but I don't know if I want to use them yet. I kind of want to save up for the big ones. So, yeah. And I still need to read comments and suggestions and stuff, so... So, yeah, let's just wait... ...on that. Wait, let's, uh... The council called the invaders Reapers. When we're deploying, or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. Was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? Why would she be here after she escaped the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard... Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna let this woman on my ship this time. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Yeah. Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. Yeah. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. I wish. I wish it was this involved. Like that, or do I keep looking? Uh, I mean, technically she does have some... Like, she gives you, like, ten points. But uh, Altralani gives me, like, fifteen. And this woman does, like, nothing. She sits around on my ship, and she's creepy to look at. Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Yeah, I don't like you. Good job, Ensign. You tried. just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over. No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. But you won't be able to talk to us. <laughs> That's war, lady. Yes, point at my ship. She is beautiful. All right, let's go. Keep on keeping on. Even though you can't go into those rooms, I like I like that they're there. You know, it's kind of a break room, but also a like transition zone. I don't know. So it's the security room, but like. They're in full view, so it's not really a break room, but it's also like a, so like a, like a, like a record Welcome, room. Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Yeah, we need to go poke the Spectre office, because there's stuff there that we can mess with. I think last time, oh, did I, I can't remember if I gave that woman a gun or not. That's basically her little your decision and her fate. Now arriving at I can't the city remember. Of oh, hello. But what I need is proof. I can't take your word on this. But those assumptions Doing merely leave my tongue stranded in enemy territory. Colony is across the galaxy. Bilal may still be alive. The invading force appears to be the same. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read Oh, yeah, the he's like the, the human day, ambassador. But... Like the human ambassador. Please. Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. 
and bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador He's got Dominic purple eyes. I like My it. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. I like his eyes. They're beautiful. Beautiful eyes. Oh, that guy. Oh, no. I mean, the, the Solari, the SCG guy. We meet him over there eventually, I think. Good morning. Oh, hello, ma'am. We've had this discussion, young lady. You have to call him Teresa. Maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch. What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. I think, I think maybe, I thought maybe it was like a gradual progression, but I think in this instance, the, the older lady is actually remembering that this is the actual Asari who was dating her son, and not just, oh, you kind of look like it, her, you know? Okay, that makes sense. So it's kind of, it, it is a progression thing, but it, it kind of bounces around, apparently. Oh, and I should be able to find my other companions hanging out. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about, rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Is the immigration situation any better? <laughs> it's worse. The more destruction the Reapers sow, the more ships come looking for salvation. The strain in our resources is overwhelming. Yeah. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the... We got more ambassadors and dignitaries. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. What's the Citadel's pulse regarding the war? I think all the reports are starting to sink in. You can only live in denial so long. You either wake up or die. Either way. Yeah. You know, one good thing about people having their heads up their asses is the quiet. <laughs> no, there's no more quiet. Everybody's openly suspicious of everybody else, and they're not timid about yelling about it. It'll probably get worse uh, before I it mean, gets better, <coughs> Bailey. Fear-mongering. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Can be just as bad as, like, actual threat, you know? People start making up threats and hurting each other over perceived conflicts and... Or, like, even just assumptions, perceptions can be harmful. Oh, hey, guy. Wait, just one minute. One minute. I'm not gonna do you right now. Yo. I'm back. Interesting. That's a species we haven't encountered. Welcome. Corian fleet. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, military pardon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Custody.
Yes, authorize. Yay! Here. I can't have it yet! No! It's so expensive. How come I don't have more money? Like, like, for reals. Thought I'd have loads. Spectre Outpost. It's the shooting range. I never have much use for it. If I do that guy, if I work with uh, that guy, can't remember his name, I'll get a, uh, I'll get Kasumi as a war asset. Udina. Shepard. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. I must know. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, Rose Gardens. Let's see. You're a Citadel counselor. With Parliament destroyed and shot. Rest assured, I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Any news from Earth? There is constant. The Reapers. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the... What's your read on the counselor? Tabos is a diplomat. Valern is... A... Inspiratus... Okay. I should go. I'll be here. Just checking, dude. They really did get the Presidium up and running pretty quick after the Reaper, after Sovereign's attack. <sighs> Let's see. No? Nothing? All right. Um, we could go to Purgatory. Oh, because we gotta, we gotta go to where the shops are, too. That's right. I kind of miss having my squad mates with me, but I guess they are. They're kicking it around somewhere. I'll have to... Welcome Can to I move? It's not gonna Please tell me. The Presidium Comic... The holding area. That's right. That's where Garrus is. Are highlighted on the elevator menu. Um, let's go to the Presidium Commons One and moment, check out the shops really quick. Because then I can access them from my terminal on the ship. I do like the Terminus armor. It's pretty rad looking. And the Blood Dragon armor is also really cool. And now I won't feel like such a fraud wearing it. Because I'm like, I got it. At the time, I thought it looked really cool, but I was like, I know this is the Dragon Age symbol, and I feel bad because I haven't played the Dragon Age games, so I don't feel like I should wear the armor, now but... Ah, oh, yes, it's illicit love affair. I to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vents, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Yeah. So, uh. you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? You two could save lives by helping mm -hmm. doctors in the refugee camps. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter? Hey! <laughs> wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Yeah, it would be bad if they just like ran out and were like doo de doo, -doo you know. Yo charging for goods, denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world. And now, 
Our people have lost their way. The tenants should still be there, and there should be copies, you know? Selling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. If you're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Who are you talking to? Certainly. Look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. Don't count on the Batarians. Karshan is lost. The Alliance is spearheading this war. I agree it's quite impressive, but it wouldn't venture into the soul system. Call me when you have the information. No. I'll send you a different number. I don't know if this is different than last time. This connection isn't absolutely secure. Selling now would be unwanted. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload oh, yeah, yeah. the Motan cluster. Elkos Combine. If and it exists, we carry it. Someplace Thank safer. you. Come again. Hmm. All right. Can I, who's supposed to be manning this station? You know what I mean? Welcome to Kanala Export. Fish! Guy fish! Yay! And there's the blood dragon armor. Ooh. Yes. Cultivating serenity hmm. is possible even during times of crisis. Ooh. Oh yeah. For security and peace of mind. <laughs> oh, 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 um Canala Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. Yeah. Is it and uh at Canala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart. I don't know if I can use both of those, but I'm going to get them. Thank you for shopping at Canala Exports. Okay, it's that for those shops. There's more over here. Primal, I think, or I animal, or I don't know, Armali, I don't know. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial VIs to military... I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help... Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my homeworld burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. Okay. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. This isn't Sanctuary! What? This is a, this is a gun! Oh, count on it. Somebody's making money off people's fear. Wish I'd thought of it myself. Go! Oh. Ilium's under attack, it just said. I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything but this. I love her outfit. Her medical outfit. It's very nice. I don't know why you wear white, though. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her. But I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. That's not your fault. 
Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anyone. She really shouldn't. I, I think it's so funny how people, people, the ones that are walking, they just like stop when they're like near me. Hey guy, I'm gonna try to keep you alive too. Mm. Yo. Liara! Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. Yep. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join oh, us. Oh, okay, okay. Well, don't be, you know, it, it's nice to, even if you're still doing work, it's nice to get a change of, like, scenery, you know? So, I like to do that when I did homework, when I was going to university. Can I talk to you? Not yet? All right. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. Ah! Socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. I remember you two. <laughs> Michael and Rebecca, right? <laughs> Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. <laughs> just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Yay! I remembered them! I like the shepherd. Like, it's like, I remember you too, you know? I like that. Cool robes! I love I remember this guy. He's just like pointing, like, oh, look. No. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hard She is so not interested in whatever he's talking about. If we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Yo, see that guy? I uh, even though it's, it keeps saying Citadel War Asset until the uh the thing goes down on the Citadel, we can't actually I'm afraid I can't do anything. <laughs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new mom. Oh, God. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break, contacting a family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe the <laughs> war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just... I feel bad! Yeah. This guy! I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Yeah, I don't know, man. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Pistol scope. Shotgun ultralight materials. Our customer service specialists are yes. always interested Sniper in Sniper rifle ultralight technology. materials. Thank you Kay. for shopping at Agor Munitions. Hey, you. Oh, I can't talk to you yet. All right. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Um. Oh, it just increases damage. That's All pretty good. All Armory products include a lifetime guarantee for performance. See oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Increases the weapon weight. Look at that. The high velocity thing. Oh. So you can get that for the assault rifles, too. 
Oh, but that holy crap, that increases the weight. Wow. But that one doesn't. Precision scope one. Uh, what was the other one? The thermal scope. It reveals enemies through walls and smoke with a four times optical scope and enhances the stability and accuracy while zoomed in. Uh, simple four times optical scope. Okay, so it doesn't do the through smoke thing. Cypertine Armory! Eating Jugger! to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with the Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to find. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. She is so good. I think she's using that to her advantage a little bit. <laughs> Which is good. That's a cool outfit. I like it. Looks like my casual wear, my other casual wear. Collector armor. I will never, ever wear that one. Uh, Model Citadel! Oh, gimme, gimme. Yeah. Pistol crania, cranial trauma, wow. Power magnifier. Generator designed to enhance the effectiveness of tech or biotic attacks. That's cool. Power magnifier. Shoot smart, good hunting. Shoot, no Sostra. Yo, ED, give me a second. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Pistol melee stunner. Oh. Oh. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Inferno armor. All goods have been marked mm. down with our special wartime discount. <laughs> special wartime discount. That is cool. I'll get that. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the alliance. Alright, hang on. I gotta poke Joker first. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a <laughs> big-ass Reaper in <laughs> His face! <laughs> These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI <laughs> walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. Nice. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Yeah, she hasn't done this ah, before. She's earned a little shore leave. <gasps> she really has. Like, usually, like, she never has before, you know, but... Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. <laughs> that is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inferiority <laughs> to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? <laughs> I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. She's just standing in front of the shop doing that. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand <laughs> How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Not that she met. Whew. Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. <laughs> I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades. 
and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. No, why? That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. She's a mech. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desire. No, no, no. Shepard's like, no, 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 no. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? <laughs> it appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Oh, man. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. Ah. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Yeah. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I think it's so funny that Shepard's just really chill with this. Oh, like, see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. And the fact that, like, Edie wants this to happen, like, she's, this is very, very interesting. And I feel like Shepard's just like, aha, like, let's just, let's see how this goes, you know? I know you. I'll see you on the flip side some point when things are sadder. I no, there's stuff in the back, but like back here. I don't really think there's anything much but the blasto sign. Oh my gosh. You don't get it, Kaji clan. Ever since they found Ezo on the Vorcha homeworld, the council's been trying to make nice. Bottom line, you can't touch the Vorcha. They've got diplomatic immunity. Then this one will not attempt diplomacy. You're also getting a new <laughs> around I think it's just or it might be maybe it's their suits I don't know maybe just their suits are full of stuff pretty sure there's no use in coming back here for any of these right now um I think all that's oh no there's the holding docks bay whatever but, um, so right, I think all we have left Welcome is the uh, holding area Welcome and the purgatory bar. But uh, I'm gonna call this one here for now. Uh, exploring the Citadel takes takes a little bit of time to get through all of it at the beginning, but I like it. It's fun to see this much of the Citadel. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I, I certainly am. Can't wait to get back to the action. But uh, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.